Hello dreamers, how are you doing? Many of you have asked me the differences between permanent residency and citizenship. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the key differences between having a permanent residency or a citizenship of Canada and similar would be for Australia. So if you want to know the differences, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos almost every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so if you are a permanent resident of Canada, in that case, you would hold a PR card. But if you're a citizen of Canada, in that case, you'd be holding the passport of Canada. If you're a permanent resident of Canada, you have to live there for a certain number of years and then pass an exam to uh, become the citizen of Canada and get that passport. Now, please note that some countries do offer the dual citizenship as well. So if your home country does offer the dual citizenship, well and good for people who are living in India. India doesn't offer dual citizenship, however, Canada does. So if you're holding an Indian passport with the permanent resident card of uh, Canada, in that case, uh, you are free to travel to India whenever you want uh, to travel. But let's suppose that you uh, get the citizenship and you get the passport of Canada. In that case, you would need to get a visa to travel to India. So this is uh, one difference uh, which is you know quite striking. Uh, going ahead, as a permanent resident, you won't have the rights to vote in Canada. And uh, as a citizen, you do have the rights to you know, vote in different elections. Okay, and similar is the case uh, with Australia as well. Mind it, uh, the basic rules are very similar. Okay, if you're a permanent resident, you are not allowed to enter or work in the Canadian military. While you're, if you're a citizen, you can work, you know, in the Canadian military forces or in the Canadian army. Okay, moving ahead. So if you're a permanent resident and let's say by mistake or, you know, or deliberately you, you know, commit a criminal offense. In that case, you could be jailed or you could even be deported to your, back to your home country. While if you're a citizen, then uh, you won't be, you know, actually deported to any other country because Canada is your home country in that case. And uh, you would just have to, you know, serve your uh, jail term or whatever. Now, as a permanent resident, you would need to spend two years out of five to maintain your PR status. But there's no such requirement in the case of a citizen. If you're a citizen of Canada or Australia, you know, obviously you can live, work anywhere in the world, you know, for any number of years and you can come back and still your citizenship would be intact. But if you're a permanent resident of Canada and uh, you're not there for uh, you know, two years out of five years, you would be losing your PR status. And of course, you know, the rule for uh, the citizenship, you have to be there for three years to apply for the citizenship of Canada. Okay, now the visa requirements for other countries. Of course, because you're a permanent resident of Canada, you would get some benefits. There are a couple of countries uh, for where you can actually, you know, get the visa free travel. That's in South America. But most of the countries, you know, you would need to abide by the rules of your passport that you're currently holding. So let's say if you're holding an Indian passport and if you want to travel to Europe or any other country, you know, maybe in UK, you need to get a visa for that. But if you're actually, you know, actually a citizen of uh, Canada and you hold a passport, a Canadian passport, in that case, you would not require to apply for a visa. This is the screenshot uh, from uh, Wikipedia. And it says that uh, according to the 2018 Henley Passport Index, holders of Canadian passport can visit 185 countries and territories without a visa or with a visa on arrival, ranking the Canadian passport fifth in the world with the Belgian, Irish and Swiss passports. So it is 
definitely one of the strongest passports in the world. So if you do hold this uh, Canadian passport, in that case, you would not uh, need a visa to travel to so many countries. And a visa-free access to United States as well. So obviously this uh, includes United States. If you have the uh, PR of uh, Canada, that does not mean that you can travel to United States. You do need to apply for the uh, visitor visa. But if you hold the passport, in that case, you can definitely you know, travel to, uh, to USA without even applying for a visa. So these were the key differences between the permanent residency and the citizenship of Canada, basically. The similar are for Australia as well. So thank you a lot. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I really hope that uh, this uh, video was helpful in providing some basic knowledge to you. Please like the video if you liked it and share it with your friends if you think it would be helpful for them. And also please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.